lo and behold, Tommy Laren is not really impressed with it. Y'all can keep your fake meat trash. Why am I not surprised? Okay, some huge news out of Spain here. This is causing division, like massive division. Now you've got farmers and the conservative crowd on one side of the fence. Then you've got people who are more progressive, pro the environment, pro animals on one, another side who are for this. JBS, the world's top beef supplier, they actually own Pilgrims, which is the company that I exposed their gas chambers a few weeks back, is building a lab-grown meat plant. Let's have a little read of this. Top global beef producer JBS is building the world's biggest plant for lab-grown meat in Spain. Now this is the part that made my eyes tear a little bit in a good way. The facility will produce about 1,000 metric tons of cultivated meat per year with the capacity to expand output to 4,000 tons. I'm going to use the help of ChatGPT to look at how many cows 4,000 tons is. A typical mature steer weighs around 12,000 pounds or approximately half a metric ton. So to calculate the number of cows in 4,000 metric tons of meat, we'd use a uh, following calculation. 4,000 tons approximately 7,353 cows. Wow, so one of these plants could save 7,353 cows a year. That's crazy. What about chickens? Oh my God, what, let's do it for chickens. Let's assume a weight of 2.5 kilograms, ChatGPT is saying. One metric ton is 1,000 kilograms. So ChatGPT seems to think that 4,000 metric tons of chicken flesh is equal to 1.6 million chickens, if we assume two and a half kilograms of chicken. Don't know if those stats are right. Now, people often ask me, do I support lab-grown meat? And the answer should be very clear. If it saves animals from being mass enslaved and murdered, tortured in most cases, and killed, the answer is an emphatic yes. Now, JBS said they'll invest $41 million into the Spanish facility, which is expected to be finished next year. The company plans to spend $60 million on building a research institute in southern Brazil to develop technology to make protein from animal cells. Wow. So they're investing $100 million into this. I think they know that cultivated meat is the future, and exploiting and murdering animals is not a very sustainable business model. There are caveats to this though. Let's check out Biotech Foods, of which uh, is 51% owned by JBS. We want to be part of the solution. So let's have a look. What do they do here? What is our proposal? Uh, they want to make tasty meat. No animal sacrifice. The reason I'm looking into the company here, I encourage everyone to look into companies that say that they are doing lab-grown meat. How do they cultivate the cells? So basically they take the cells, they put it in some type of medium, providing the temperature, basic nutrients, water, proteins, carbohydrates, fat, and vitamins to produce the meat. So they're basically just doing what a body does, but in a Petri dish or in some type of reactor. The sample is where I would be a little bit concerned. So where, where do they get the sample from? The starting point for the elaboration of culture, cultured meat is the extraction of a small sample of meat from an animal without causing them suffering. Now they called the animal it, so that's not a very good start. But if they take a small biopsy of an animal, say pluck a feather from a chicken, a small biopsy from a cow, and they save 7,000 cows a year or 1.6 million chickens a year, that is completely morally justified. If you think that's not, then you have, <laughs> have got a screw loose, all right? A biopsy, take my biopsy, go on. Take, I know I can consent, but even if a chicken cannot consent to a biopsy, it's completely justified at that point to save 1.6 million chickens, and these chickens aren't even gonna be harmed. I've seen a company called Supermeat do this. They take one cell, one biopsy from a chicken, a fallen feather, they can take a fallen feather, and they can cultivate a bunch of flesh from that one fallen feather. Now, I, I'd still make sure that these companies are not using animal inputs like a bovine fetal calf serum or whatever they use, uh, animal inputs or something like that, or they have like a shed full of animals out the back that they're breeding and, and torturing and mass raping or something like this, some horrible situation for farming the animals. But I don't think that that's the case and I don't think they have to do that. Once they've started cultivating these cells, they've got an infinite amount of cells at that point. So do I support it? Now, of course I support it with these caveats. They're not harming, exploiting, violating the rights of some animals to save other animals, but here it just seems completely benign, small biopsy or whatever. Is everyone going to be for this? Let's have a look on Twitter. Lo and behold, Tommy Laren is not really impressed with it. And who is she? She's a Fox News commentator. Well, why am I not surprised? Most people from Fox News are just absolutely so conservative. They don't want to see anything change, even if it's the mass murder of billions of animals being abolished for a lab-grown meat alternative. Giving animals rights is a very progressive movement. So you're going to see a lot of conservatives who are anti-vegan, who are anti-change. You actually see them being quite anti-other topics, progressive topics as well. And they lump veganism and animal rights in as this far-left movement. So they just immediately oppose it. Here's her comment on Twitter. The world's largest meat processing company, JBS, has plans to construct the world's largest lab-grown meat plant in Spain. No, thank you. 
I'll stick with American beef from American ranches with good ranches. Y'all can keep your fake meat trash. It's not actually fake meat. It's just it's animal cells cultivated. And, uh, you know, look, Tommy Lawrence probably doesn't have a have a clue what, what cultivated meat is, but she probably also doesn't care that animals are decapitated so she can eat their body parts because she's probably so disconnected from the slaughter process and what the animals have to go through that she lives in a delusional world of humane happy slaughter and good ranches. Look at this. Wow, look at their insignia on their Twitter page. 85% of grass-fed beef is imported from overseas. 100% of our products come from local American farms. We are American meat delivered. Good old American conservative chopped up body parts. Sounds horrifying. Do they have any images from the slaughterhouse in here? Oh, no MRI. In a vaccines or antibiotics. <laughs> wow, that's always positive, isn't it? No vaccines in their cows. Oh, it's sourced sustainably and locally. And we all know that if the slaughterhouse is local, then the decapitation of the animals is completely justified. And look, they even got bacon. They even got bacon. Do they gas those pigs or do they just stab them in the neck? Wow, I'd rather not have meat cultivated in a dish. I'd rather the cells grow off of a sentient being just so I can stab them in the neck and cut their head off to get that flesh. You see how evil, I'm going to use the word evil it is, to oppose a system that makes the slaughter of animals obsolete. Now we're talking exactly the same meat, flesh, that people are used to, that taste they like. I, I personally won't be eating it. I don't know about you. Leave your comments down below. Will you be eating lab-grown meat? I definitely definitely will not, but I will support anyone, including vegans, if they want to eat lab-grown meat, because it's ethically vegan at that point. It is ethically vegan, and I will be up, up there promoting it, lab-grown meat, to people, because uh, if it tastes more like meat than plant-based meat does, and it helps save animals, then I'll be promoting it. You can count on me to promote it. Even if JBS are producing it, I would still promote their lab-grown meat, just so that they see it as a good business move to shift over to just completely lab-grown meat. That would be massive for animals. Now, you can see like, the other people that are pissed off about this, one is we're going to the UK now. What do we got in the UK? I like my meat to have been grazing in a field, not grown in a lab. I like my flesh to come off of sentient beings stabbed in the neck, not grown in a lab. They automatically assume because it's grown in a lab or cultivated in a dish that it's what less clean or what it's it's like going to mess you up. What do you think flesh is? What do you think happens to animals in the UK in America? They grow in factory farms most of the time. They all go to a slaughterhouse to die in their own blood. I just don't get it. Like, what is your problem? You'd rather murder animals than eat lab grown meat. It's, it's just illogical. It's cruel and it's, it's psychotic. Farmers will have a fight on their hands to stop this or it will be lab meat in the future. Oh my God, could you imagine, man? Could you imagine getting rid of slaughterhouses? Hey mate, why don't you take a little waltz down a slaughterhouse kill floor and see if your position stays the same? If you had to walk down a kill floor like a cow did, you'd be happy with the decision for lab-grown meat in the future. But you know, human supremacists, they don't see it from the animals position. You know, the, the reality of animal slavery and animal murder is much worse than the reality of lab-grown meat. I, for one, support lab-grown meat. The only people that are whinging and complaining are people who don't want things to ever change, who want things to stay the same forever, or farmers who have a vested interest in murdering animals. That's my position on lab-grown meat. There's a bunch of other things we could talk about when it comes to lab-grown meat, but I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about this? Do you think it's fake like these people are saying, or do you think this is good for the environment, good for the animals, and uh, something that you would actually eat even as a vegan? It's not dietary vegan, but it is ethically vegan. And yeah, what do you think about Tommy Lauren? Do you think she's going to hold the world back or do you think we should just, uh, she should just shut her mouth and let things progress? I'd like to hear your thoughts down below and I'll see you all in the next video.